Hello everyone, my name is Vernon Edwards, and in this podcast I will be discussing music producer Brennan O'Brien. Now if you're not familiar with his name, you're definitely familiar with some of his works. He's done some of the biggest names in music like Bruce Springsteen, Audio Slave, ACDC, just to name a few. His first big hit that you may know was the Black Crow's Shake Your Money Maker, if you guys know that one. Um, in the 90s, he made a big impact in the grunge and rock music genres with uh, albums like Stone Temple Pilots, debut album Core, Pearl Jam's Versus, Vitality albums, and Rage Against Machines, Evil Empire, and the Battle of Los Angeles albums. He was known for his big guitar sounds like you can hear on the Rage albums that everyone's familiar with. Uh, he also had a very massive drum and bass sound, which you can hear on the Korn is- uh, like Korn's Issues album. It's a real thumpy bass, real thick, hard bass. Um, one thing I really like about Brennan O'Brien and like some of the other producers of the 90s and his time is that he adapted to the industry and didn't kind of fall behind and be unheard of like some of those other guys. And he still continued to put out hit records. Throughout the 2000s, he produced hit albums for Incubus, Train, Offspring, Papa Roach, Velvet Revolver, Mastodon, Kill Switch Engage, just to name a few, and the list keeps going on and on. Uh, It says something about a producer when a band or an artist keeps bringing you back time and time again. And I find it pretty interesting. The majority of his work has been done either doing the same bands or same artists throughout his career. For example, he did Rage Against Machines' last two studio albums and their cover album he worked on with Rick Rubin as well. And then after they disbanded, they, them and members of Soundgarden formed Audio Slave. Then came to him, he produced one of their albums as well. Then after they were done as a band, Tom Morello, the guitarist for both bands, comes back to Brennan O'Brien and has him produce both of his folk protest albums under the name uh, The Night Watchman. So I really respect the uh, longevity that Brennan O'Brien has had within the industry, and I've definitely really enjoyed his music over the years, and I hope he keeps continuing to put out hit records through uh, great bands. I've definitely enjoyed his sound over the years. So I hope you guys um, learned something from this. Check out his music if you haven't heard any of it, but I guarantee you have. Everyone's heard a majority of his bands. Uh, Thank you for listening. Hope you learned something, and bye.